a very pleasant morning to all my dear children. Welcome back to English Online Class of Sri Gokulam Public School, Guru Ayo. I hope you all are doing great and staying safe at home. Yes, children? Okay. Let's start our today's session. Today, let's discuss lesson 9, voice from our grammar text. You already know what is a voice. You know or you have studied active voice and passive voice. Still, let's learn voice in detail in this lesson. But before moving to the main heading voice, let's know what is a object. So in today's session, we'll study what is a object, what is a direct object, what is an indirect object, and how both these objects are different, both the direct and indirect object, and how we can identify an object in a sentence, both this direct object and indirect object in a sentence. So we'll study all this in today's session. So let's move to our topic, object and its types, direct and indirect object. Till in the basic structure of a sentence is, it has a subject, it has a verb and an object. Subject plus verb plus object forms a sentence. And most of the sentences have a subject and a verb. And some of the sentences also contain objects with them. Okay, so now let's see what is a subject. What is the subject, children? Subject is a doer of the action in a sentence. It is the person or thing that performs the action in a sentence. Subject of a sentence is a person, place or thing that performs the action in a sentence. So subject represents what or whom the sentence is about. So when we look at the subject in a sentence, we know what the sentence is talking about or what the sentence speaks about. Okay. So sentence is a or the subject is a doer of the action or the person or thing that performs the action. Okay. Now let's see what is a verb. You all know what is a verb and we have already studied verbs. Verbs are the action words. The words that denote actions. The words that choose action. For example, speak, listen, hear, study, learn, play. All these are action words. All these are verbs. Now it's time to learn what is an object. Actually now let's see what is an object in a sentence and how we can identify object in a sentence. So object is usually the noun or pronoun. What is the noun children? Nouns are the naming words. Names of anything in this world. And what is a pronoun? Pronouns are the words that is used instead of nouns. For example, he, she, it, they, we, us, etc. All these are pronouns. Okay. So, it can be a noun or it can be a pronoun and that receives the action. So, object is or object receives the action. The receiver of an action is called the object. So, let us look at some examples so that you will be able to understand it better. For example, the thief stole the bicycle. Here, which is the subject and then what is the sentence talking about? The sentence speaks about the thief. So, the thief is a subject. And what is the action performed by him? It is stole. Stole is the past tense of steal. So stealing is action did by him. Now, what or who receives the action performed by the thief? It is the bicycle. The bicycle receives the action. The bicycle is a receiver of the action of the verb stole. Okay. So that is how we identify object in a sentence. And we can ask the questions what or whom to the verb, then we will get the object. For example, the thief stole what children? The thief stole bicycle. So we got the answer, the bicycle. So the bicycle becomes the object of that sentence. Now let us look one more example. The police caught the thief. Here, which is the subject children? The subject is the police. Because the sentence talks about the police. Okay, The police is the subject. And what is the action performed by the police? What is the action here or action word? The verb here is caught. Caught is a past tense of catch. Okay. So the police arrested or caught the thief or the robber. So caught is the action word. And who receives that action? So it is the thief or the robber receives that action. So the thief or the robber is the object in this sentence. Now I told you that you can ask the questions what or whom. To the verb, so we'll get the answer object. Okay, so here we can ask whom. Whom did the police caught or whom did the police catch? Whom was caught? Children? The thief was caught. The thief was caught by the police. Okay, 
So if you ask the questions what or whom to the verb, you get the answer object. Now let us look at another example. She baked me a cake. So here, which is the subject children? She. I told you that a subject can be a noun or a pronoun. She is a pronoun. So she is the subject in this sentence. Now which is the action or which is the verb in this sentence? Action word. It is baked. Baked is the action performed by this girl. Okay. So baked is the action. Now who receives that action? Baked what children? Baked cake. So here again there is one more word. Me. Me is also an object. So in this sentence we have two objects. Me and cake. So that's why I told you we have two objects. We have two types of objects. They are direct object and indirect object. So the direct object is the object that receives the action of the verb directly. Okay, It receives the action of the verb directly. And it can be a noun or a pronoun. And here which is the direct object? Like, she baked me a cake. Baked what? So I told you that you can ask the question what or whom. Or if you get an answer for that question words, there is a direct object in that sentence. Okay, What or whom is asked for direct object to get answer for direct objects. And what is the easiest way to find out indirect object in a sentence? You have to ask the question to whom and for whom to the verb. Okay, If you ask the question to whom and for whom to the verb, you get an answer for an indirect object. So she baked a cake for whom children? She baked a cake for me. So me is the indirect object in this sentence. So I hope you understood the basic difference between a direct object and an indirect object. Children, I hope you understood the basic difference between direct object and indirect object. So in order to identify object in a sentence, direct object in a sentence, you can ask the question words what or whom to the verb. So we'll get the answer for the direct object. And in order to find out an indirect object in a sentence, you can ask the question for whom or to whom to the verb. So we'll get the answer for an indirect object. Okay. So direct object is the object that receives the action of the verb directly. Whereas I told you that some verbs have two objects in which one would be a direct object. While the other one tells us for whom the action is being done in a sentence. And that becomes the indirect object. Indirect object is an object that indicates for whom or to whom the action is being done in a sentence. I hope you understood this basic difference. Let's look at some more examples. For example, my mother bought me a necklace. Here, which is the direct and the indirect object children? My mother bought me a necklace. Bought what children? If we ask the question what, what to the verb, we'll get the answer for the direct object. So bought what? Bought a necklace. A necklace is a direct object. For whom? So if we ask the question for whom, you'll get the answer for indirect object. For whom did she bring that necklace? For me. So me is an indirect object. Okay. Let's look at another example. Krishna told Sachin a story. Here, which is the direct object and indirect object? Told what children? Told what? A story. So a story is an object in this sentence. Told story to whom children? To Sachin. So Sachin is an indirect object in this sentence. I hope you understood how to identify direct and indirect object in a sentence. So children, try to do the textual exercises based on this topic. Okay, I have attached the answer keys. So if you find any difficulty in solving these exercises, you can look at the answer keys that are attached. So do attempt the test. Okay, children. So it's time to wind up the session. See you in the next class.